Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to do an airbrush acrylic pour. I'm using acrylic inks. I have magenta, Prussian blue, and two shades of purple mixed up. I added Floetrol to give them um, a little bit more body and consistency. The acrylic inks are very very thin which I like for my airbrushed pieces. And then I just have a really thin down white that I'm using for my base. So when I start off, I like to do a really thin coat of my base paint. It really helps all of my other colors move evenly across the surface of my canvas. And to get a nice even coverage, I'm just using a sponge brush. I found that um, I used to use a palette knife to spread my paint out but I didn't feel like I had enough control over how even the layer was of paint on my surface. So I've started using the sponge brush and I really like it. So I think just from now on I'm going to use these. Uh, they're very cheap. I just got a pack off of Amazon. I think it had like 12 or 15 brushes and it had a whole bunch of different sizes. So if I need something smaller, I can have a smaller brush, or for a larger painting like this, I can just use that larger sponge brush, and it works really easy. So I'm just gonna start slowly putting my colors down and then using my airbrush to blow them out. And I just have to decide how I really wanna start this one.
So this has a huge wave vibe to it, which I've never done a wave painting before. I know people have done them with swipes, they've done them with touch pours, so I guess I kind of did that theme with my airbrush. Um, this looks really, really awesome. I got a ton of cells in this, and I think it was just from that flow trawl, and with how thin I have my paints, um, I'm hoping it'll dry well, and then I will take some pictures when it's all dry, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like in a little bit.